And new information is emerging about what caused a massive explosion at a power plant in Hayward last year. This comes as regulators plan a thorough inspection and audit of the Russell City Energy Center next month. KTVU investigative reporter Brooks Jaros has been following this from the very beginning. And the ultimate goal here, Brooks, is to make sure that this doesn't happen again. Well, Mike, just imagine shrapnel heavy metal propelled hundreds of feet away, some pieces weighing over 50 pounds. Now, no one was hurt, but regulators are now focusing on the operations that set the stage for this incident to occur. Last May, a steam turbine at the Russell City Energy Center in Hayward exploded and there was a large fire. Calpine, which owns the energy plant, just released a letter to the California Energy Commission. The company says the blast was caused by design issues, not by deferred maintenance or operator error. Instead, the inability to detect excess water under pressure at high temperature. The plant was pulled from service for several months and restarted in a lower power mode to feed the grid last fall. It's now undergoing repairs to get it fully operational as soon as this summer. And just hours ago, the commission held a meeting to get an update on a joint agency investigation into the cause. There have been a dozen witness interviews, nine on-site inspections and several commissioner tours. Despite Calpine blaming the incident squarely on equipment failures, Regulators promise to get the total picture and prevent another unforeseen explosion. I know I speak on behalf of all the commissioners that we were just appalled and um, about the situation and, you know, no lives were lost, but they could have been. We recognize that. And so ensuring that we're doing all we can to make communities safe as we provide power is just sort of, you know, a core value of all of us. Calpine says it has inspected its other similar plants to make sure they're safe. The city of Hayward is seeking compensation for damages and wants better coordination with Calpine going forward. Calpine says it acknowledges community concerns and the need to take action. The company says it has developed a thorough plan to address the design issues that led to the explosion. Of course, we'll keep an eye on it. Brooks DeRose, KTVU Fox 2 News. Keeping the company accountable, right, Brooks? Right. Thank you.